Hello everyone, very good morning and uh, welcome to the ABAP on HANA tips session. In this session, I'm going to discuss how to deal with uh, the inner join condition with uh, different data types. So here you can see that we have the two table Z student detail and another table Z marks words one table each marks here in the character data type format and here this is in the integer data type format if you want to put the inner join on both the table based upon the marks condition and get the details from both the table what are the problem we will be facing and how we can solve this issue let's go and see already i have created one program so it will not take more time to explain because i assume that you already know the open sql and just here we are going to handle with this situation so if you don't use for example over here let's go and write this uh, select query and if you directly use the inner join condition like this it will give the syntax error you know i'm um, using the marks field of uh, z student detail table and again marks field of z marks words table so here if we go and check the syntax you can see that it's telling that data type are incompatible and it's not going to allow me to write like this right let me show you at the table level c11 this is one of my table and marks is of character data type char 16. another table which i'm using z marks underscore words and in this uh, this is the field same name of int for data type right that's why it's not allowed how to handle this situation right so the first approach we would like to have as you know that we have a cast operator and we can try with the cast operator let's go and see so we are trying with the cast operator but it is giving us the syntax error so cast operator is not possible at this particular position if you check the syntax it will tell you the same right so by this way not possible that means the approach the first approach which we are thinking is not going to work second approach first we are going to convert that field into the character data type from the integer data type okay so if you do like this i'm just converting the field of z marks underscore words from integer data type to character data type and then this on this internal table we are going to put the you know inner join you know right that we can put the inner join on internal table in new open sql uh, after i think net we were 7.50 not sure exact net we were version but uh, just uh, i as i remember i think uh, after net we were 7.50 we can use it if you know the correct net viewer version feel free to write here in the comment box so that other viewers can also uh, get you know uh, that from which net viewer version onwards it is applicable so this is the point over here what we have done we have you know got the data the marks field converted into char 60 right 
and put into this internal table. Again, this internal table we are using over here as your inner join uh, with the physical table, dead marks underscore words and getting the data and displaying using the single demo underscore output. Okay. So if you check the syntax over here, uh, some error is there. It's telling that it is unknown. Let's see what's the problem. ITZ marks what's this is. So this should be the table basically. Check the syntax now. And here it's telling that not compatible. Right, Z marks voids. Uh, already we have converted, so we have to use the table Z student detail, right? Because already we have got the data from the Z marks underscore words over here, right? So another physical table which we have Z uh, student detail. So this I will be putting it over here and jet is to dent underscore detail. Okay. So now this looks good now. And this is also fine. This is fine now. Check the syntax now and you can see that there is no error. Activate this one. And let's press F8. We are able to see the data, but let's see if the data is correct, right? So we are getting uh, 10, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, right? We are going to, we are going into the table level and here, you know, already I have taken the screenshot and put it over here, see? We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, right? So, and, and here also we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 from 10 to 100, right? So we have uh, here 10 records, 10 records should be displayed because the matching conditions are, you know, uh, same, right? But we have only one, two, three, four, five, six, six records only it's displaying. Why? You might have observed how the data is there, right? Can see that the space is there in beginning right so that's why it's uh, not working perfectly as expected because some space uh, are there so second approach is working fine but the problem with that you know uh a space in beginning so how to solve that so for that we have you know uh use the third approach and in the third approach like uh, uh, here, we can use the trim function, uh, left trim function, L trim function in order to remove the space. So that space is there in this uh, which table. I can show you once again, J student detail table in this table, that space is there. So if you see that, uh, uh, if, uh, if 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 we try to put it over here at this position l trim function you know it's it's uh, it, it will it will not allow basically right it's not supported so l trim function will not be able to use right so one thing that we can put the we can fetch the data from this table right and uh, put the loop on that internal table and condense those uh, records of that particular field right that also we can use but because we have the l trim function how we can use the l trim function let's go and see that so this approach we have seen that it's working but because of the bad data it's not working completely so that's why we are moving ahead to the third approach and this is how this approach we are having so in this approach basically we are going to use the subquery and see how powerful 
the concept of subquery is right so first we are fetching the data and this marks we are converting from integer to character vice versa is not possible just for your information vice versa is not possible from character to integer not possible from integer to character it is possible right so this is a point so here in the subquery just see here we are fetching the marks field okay uh, uh, select cast marks as car 60 we are giving a alias and from this table right then subquery conversion of the data from integer to character is done and for this data i want to fetch the data from the table z student underscore detail okay where l trim function here you can see that how nicely it's working l trim student marks and lc space so what i'm trying to tell to the system system please remove the space l trim is left trim remove the space from left if there and you know those data look out into this subquery this is what i'm telling to the system and this at the where condition here it's going to work like anything you know it's it's going to work perfectly we can check the syntax and uh, here for the lc space it's giving the error so let me enable this constant we have to use the constant you will not be able to use it directly like this it will not allow you know so directly a space like this is not allowed in fact we have to use the literal so i'm just using this constant over here check the syntax over here and uh, now this uh, looks fine right because this is the above variable right above uh, first variable we must have to give at the rate right so we have given it over here and uh, see he, 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 here also like we are using the l trim function it is not required at this position right in where condition this is required in where condition this is required okay in order to walk it perfectly check the syntax it's it's fine and activate this one activate this one and just like if you are willing to see without uh, uh ltm function how the data so you can simply before trim before l trim like that you simply i'm giving Check this activate this one activate this one and press effect and you can see that how the data is coming over here it's working fine all the records is now coming so before l trim also that space is getting uh, removed let's uh, see a student marks l trim right as marks so it's removing before itself it's uh, removing the space okay so that's uh, perfectly fine that's not a concern but you got the idea right that we can use the ltrim function this is the important point we can use the ltrim function uh at uh, where clause right very important point and here we can see that all the records all the 10 records it's the coming okay now uh this third approach is working completely fine okay we have one more approach the approach number four here in this approach we can declare one structure right you can see that i've declared one structure in this structure we are defining this uh, marks as a character data type let's see it's a data type over here I think it should be jade marks jade marks see integer data type we are converting into the integer data type okay this marks we are converting into the integer and data type why because the another table jade marks underscore table is having the data into the integer format so what our approach is like 
fetch the data from this table, data student detail table, and put into an internal table where already the data type is there into the integer format, right? Integer data type. And that's what we are doing over here. Okay. So created one structure, now declared one internal table. And then here you can see that we are fetching the data from JD student table and putting into one internal table. And from this internal table, we are using the move corresponding ITSD underscore BC to this, the one internal table, which we have declared with reference to this. Okay. Directly, we want to be able to put the data from JD student underscore detail table to this internal table. It will give you the data type mismatch issue. First, we have to fetch the data over here and then move corresponding and then we can use like this. So at application server layer, the type casting will take place. And now if you want to use the inner join, you know, you can use the inner join with the internal table. So this is my final internal table where the, the student uh, detail data is there. I'm going to put the inner join with this, right? And on condition here we are using. So this is not going to give any error, right? Let's see, check the syntax. Some warning is there, we can ignore that. This is not an issue. So this approach is also going to work uh, fine because as soon as the data is going to move from here to here, that is space and everything will be taken care by the system and it will be removed. I will show you, okay? So just activate it and press F8. You can see that we are getting all the 10 records perfectly. There is uh, no problem. Putting the big point over here and press F8. Here you can see that ITSDBC. Here, these are, see here how the data is coming, right? But once you move into this and here you see the data will be properly arranged, right? So Condense and all is not required in this situation because already after using the move corresponding, automatically data is taken place into the proper format up, uh, and removing the space, right? So here, this select query is also working fine and giving the data perfectly, right? See here. So this is the point. Okay. So here you can you, you have just seen over here that at the ABAP application server layer, how we can avoid this issue and uh, there can be other way also, maybe condense you can use, right? Uh, or if you know other way, just feel free to write here in the comment box, okay? So this is the point. I will be sharing this uh, code uh, through my, website over here right if you know already my website that's fine if you don't know you can go and check out this website www.saptechmadeeasy.com and you can go to the courses if you are looking for some good courses from scratch to advanced you can go and check out these courses and under the block section, I will put the link of that course, okay? Fine then, let's stop it over here. And in the next session, I will show you how we can avoid the, you know, uh, how, how we can tackle such kind of issue in the core data services using the table function, right? So be in contact with me keep on visiting this uh, channel for regular learning. Bye-bye, have a nice day.